This is the kitchen garden in the Bethnal Bental House in Shropshire near Brosley, near Brignoff. And what you see here is the uh, brassica, probably cabbages or other things, or kale. Uh, these have been harvested or picked by the pigeons. Lettuce. Is there any lettuce? I don't think that's lettuce. Lettuces are those ones, red freely, red ones, and other ones, which are gradually going to seed. I see some kale at the end. What you can see here is lots of beautiful. Oh, sweet peas. Mm. Beautiful sweet peas. Oh, the smell of them. And lots of runner beans. And they made the X formation. So it's easy to come and just pick the ones that you want. They're hanging here. That's the X formation. This one looks like a different variety. Probably butter beans. Um, do you know that in the, no part of the world except Britain they eat the runner beans? Yeah, that's true. Anyway, beautiful. This is lovage. I've been harvested. Some the perennial, so they kept them. Uh, lots of flowers. Mank shoot, do not touch. Mank shoot, do not touch. I suppose that one is mank shoot. This one, Echinia green wizard. Echinia green wizard. Lots of onion here. Shallots, shallots, onion. Carmen, Carmen, kind of red, it must be. Onions, Carmen. They're quite behind our onions in a way. Onions, Hercules. And shallots again there. So, it's beautiful to know that they have some onions anyway. It was a kitchen garden originally. So, we have here some. Uh, parsnip growing in a row. We have here beetroot, lots of it. We have gladioli on the back, different varieties of it. And we have flowers, penny, for example. And some sweet peas there again. This grows wild in our allotment. I didn't plant it, but here it grows also. Lots of strawberries. She have been suffering from drought, of course. The variety's name is Ensaria or Ensania. Got dried up. Uh, lots of uh, dahlias, beautiful flowers of dahlia. Lots of lovely dahlias here. There's a dahlia bed. This bee is enjoying his meal, completely ignoring me. Then after that dahlia bed, we come to the raspberry bed. And it's nicely laid out in a way that you can go between them and just harvest the raspberry. They have been harvested, I can see. Oh no, some of them are in flower. These are the autumn ones. Yeah, as you can see here, some of them are ready. Summer one. Some of them are probably autumn ones. Beautiful, at the end you can see some plum. No gauge. Let me see what's that from. That's a beautiful gauge. Yeah. Unfortunately, no name. 
about this gauge, another gauge there. They have been trained on the wall. Full of lovely gauge, doesn't matter the small or anything, you can just enjoy them. I don't like uh, thinning them unless you really have to because they may break your uh, branches. Lots of apples on apple trees. And a lovely environment to come and have a little rest. Uh, we continue our tour. This is a rose bed. Oh, beautiful. Let's just see if these roses have any smell. Yeah, very faint smell. Pleasant, faint. Some sunflowers. I think those ones are current. And here we have some probably rhubarb. This is rhubarb coursing pot. Uh, that's probably a red current. Oh, a little enclosed garden here. Full of flowers. They already have flowered, they're finished. And a rose, which also has probably flowered a lot. And then we come to a cold frame where they keep all the plants that they need to be grown later. That is gardeners only area. So this is what you saw here. Lots of fruits. What are these? Oh, interesting. Is it a oh crab apple? Beautiful crab apple. And there's a beehive here, so the bees we sell are probably coming from here. This row is all crab apple. So we continued that way, and if we follow it, it goes to that crab apple we saw. These are crab apple. Uh, what are these? This is also crab apple. They're good flower uh, for bees and also fruit for the other animals. Okay, this is a row of nature uh, apples. As you can see, some of them have labels. Beauty of bath. And as you can see, beauty of bath, the apples have fallen. This is the beauty of bath. So the apples are falling. So we can actually have a tasting of the beauty of bath. Mm. Like the beauty of bath, this apple is also soft. Taste apple you? These are the patterns. Not very sweet. I like it because it's soft. It's easy to eat. And this is the first apple of this year, so it's practically is full. And I expect in August they will fall. That's the uh, Egremont Russet. And that's the way the apple look.
This is one apple which has fallen here. Oh, that's discovery. <coughs> and a dwarf in root stock. A little bigger than our discovery at the moment. This one is called Craigate Perman. At the moment it's a small, without no fruit. Oh no, one fruit. It's going horizontal and it gives some fruit. This is on the old wood, last year's wood. You see lichen on it. They're quite middle or late season. Downtown Pippin, Shropshire variety. It's a quite a small apple at the moment. They will let me grow later. Be. Devonshire Corindon, upright, vigorous tree. But if you want to give fruit, it should go a little bit horizontal. The leaves should go a little bit at an angle. <coughs> This is the apple variety Milling, Miller's Seedling. And as you can see, it's a quite established apple, full of fruits. Some of them have a scab, but the rest of them look all right. They are either cooking apple or late variety apple. They are quite small at this stage. Uh, adjacent to it is the Lane Prini Alban. Oh, Alban, Albar, Albert. Oh, Lane's Prince Albert. Oh, Lane's Prince Albert. Yeah, a little bit damaged that part. So the apple looked like this, Lane's Prince Albert. Quite conical in a way sometimes, some specimens. Conical and uh, it's a cox. As you see, the cox apple doesn't give much uh, in a way. This tree is quite old, and as you see, it's not very vigorous, uh, <coughs> doesn't look very strong in a way. The branches are open, which is good. The fruit is ripe. No, it's not ripe. It looks gradually getting red, but it's quite old. Cox is a very difficult apple to grow, of course. It's prone to disease. Again, another Cox. These are well-established apples. And that is Laxton Superb. And uh, Axon Superb at this stage is large relatively, but some of it is turning toward the sun, which is getting red. The rest of them are green, so it is a mid or to late season. And it's quite a larger specimen. Again, Cox. As you see, Cox is not very vigorous. His name suggests, and it's also a spur bearer. Uh, so it just grows on the tip of the branches, difficult to grow. <laughs>